Well, ladies and gentlemen, Arsenal had a wonderful game yesterday against Burnley, especially defensive-wise. And of course, we're going to talk about Ramsdale. We're also going to talk about Lautaro Martinez. What exactly are the new terms in his new contract? What is happening at Inter Milan? Also, we're going to talk about the 17 Arsenal players who are on loan somewhere else, but might be looking, making a way into the first team when seeing uh, players like Charlie Patino being considered as well. So we're going to talk about that as well. So, uh, not getting into a lot of negative or even super positive thoughts. Well, let's just talk about the things that actually happened. So, Albert Sambi Lokonga shared on his Instagram story some real, real awesome stuff that you would want to check it out. So, he says, he shares this image and he writes on his Instagram stories, this was the game of welcome at the Premier League. Hashtag Burnley. Of course, Sambi, well, I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to say that uh, he's a guy who really did not get the best out, but I mean, he was superb. I mean, really, really awesome, if you ask me. So, uh, talking about more different stuffs, let's just talk about um, uh, a different stuff as well. Let's talk about the second uh, thing. Arsenal uh, under 23s destroyed. Chelsea under 23s being 10 men, uh, you know, uh, Omar Rekik was sent off in the 35th minute. Mika Birat scored a hat-trick, Fallon Balogun scored a first-half brace and of course Salah Olad Amhan scored directly from a corner. That was the beauty of the things that actually got, the things that, that actually happened as we speak. Well, moving on, uh, well, not having uh, uh, less suitors for what Aaron Ramsdale did, well, ladies and gentlemen, he had a lot of, lot of people praising as to what he actually uh, did uh, on the pitch yesterday. But of course, why one might one might need to consider exactly what he did. And of course, Martin Keown loved what he saw. So Martin Keown actually, what you know, there was a moment where he had to eat his words. Well, this is what on Saturday night's match of the day, Martin Keown said, "Ramsdale really strong, 23 years of age. I questioned." The purchase, but I'm really, I've been really, really happy with what he, what he's done. 35 crosses were coming into that box today, and I'm pretty much sure he's definitely happy about what the way things have gone. Well, moving on, talking about more different stuff. Let's talk about what Ian Wright and Calvin Phillips did to send a message to, of course, Aaron Ramsdale. Aaron Ramsdale posted this on his Instagram, one nil to the Arsenal, to which Ian Wright wrote back, "Brilliant today, Aaron." Calvin Phillips says, "Oh my baggy eyes," and of course, you can see the emojis. Go on, son. And of course, there was Ben Foster. Well, a keeper to keeper conversation, flying mate, fully deserved. Of course, fully deserved. What, what lovely, lovely, lovely performance. Well, Gabriel Magales has sent his message to Arsenal fans after the masterclass against Burnley. Of course, he was really, really superb. I think the one word that a lot of, uh, I think even Skoka used colossal, wasn't he? Well, Gabriel Magales. Uh, shared an image on his Instagram with the caption, what a great team spirit and an important win. Thanks to the fans for the support. Yes, Gabriel Magales wants to thank all the away fans that really uh, went to Turf more to support the team and is really, really pleased with that. Moving on, well, uh, Arsenal fans love what Nicola Pepe did before Martin Odegaard's free kick masterclass versus Burnley. Well, of course, uh, Martin Odegaard's only goal that really, really changed the game, that was the only goal in the game. So after the goal, some Arsenal fans took to social media claiming that Nicola Pepe was celebrating before, before Odegaard had even taken the free kick. Uh, well, well, let's see if that's really true or not because Nicola Pepe is already seen, if you can see, he had, had his hands like that. So certain Arsenal fans commented on, on Twitter, they said that LOL, just notice that Pepe starts celebrating before Odegaard even kicks the ball. Another one said Pepe celebrating before Martin scored. Another one said Pepe was already celebrating before he kicked the ball. Pepe celebrating before Ode even stepped up. And another one said Pepe really started celebrating as the ball left Odega's foot. So I think they were pretty much confident. I think Pepe did not did not even step forward to take this free kick. It was Obama Yang Pate and of course uh, Martin Odega. I think and thank God we have a free kick taker from that supreme midfield that we've built up. But according to Fishages.net, ladies and gentlemen. Clubs are really moving faster for Alex Lacazette. Well, earlier this week, you may remember that, you know, they, they actually covered. Sport Witness said that Sevilla and Atletico Madrid being interested in Alex Lacazette. But uh, that report from Fichages stated both are interested in the Frenchman on a free transfer. 
when his Arsenal contract expires, so the 30 year old has an, uh, is not getting an extension as of now. Arsenal don't even look like they are going for, but talking about Atletico and Sevilla are two of them. So, what happens? What happens? So, for Sevilla, it's purely practical as they lost Luke de Jong at the summer of transfer window and will be without NSAD and Monier when the African Cup of Nations starts up in January. So, that would leave them with Rafa Mir up front, meaning that they are almost obliged to go into the window for another option. Atletico are likewise thinking about a move having been linked with a Frenchman for several years. Let's see. Let's see which club uh, finds themselves more optimistic in this thing and gets the job done for now. While well, talking about more different, difficult and really, really difficult stuff, let's talk about the 17 Arsenal players that are hoping to catch Mikel Arteta's eye because they're on loan right now. So realistically, I'm going to name all the players and quickly I would want in the comments. While you're seeing this episode, you can pause and comment and let me know which players are you, would you be excited that were on loan away from Arsenal, you, you are excited about to watch them back. So one of them is Konstantinos Mavropanos. Well, well, uh, the problem is that he's on loan, yes, but it looks like uh, Stuttgart have an option to buy him for just 3 million euros. So he actually he looks really good there. So I think, I, I, I doubt whether he's going to be uh, an Arsenal player or not. Daniel Ballard, well, it's been great 12 months of Ballard, fresh from helping Blackpool achieve promotion from League One. The defender recently scored for his first international goal for Northern Ireland, but he also scored for Millwall as well. So this definitely gives Mikel Arteta more options. Talking about Matt Smith, he enjoyed a productive loan spell at Swindon and Carlson last season and will be hoping, hoping similar success at Doncaster Rovers. Let's see. Let's see uh, how things will turn out. Mato Genduzi, well, he's not coming back to Arsenal, is he? So let's just don't talk about it. Let's talk about the biggest, biggest Arsenal player who's on loan at other club, and that is William Saliba. So, of course, Jorge Sampaoli thinks significantly more of him. But the big question is, we all heard what Edu said, uh, you know, before, uh, uh, just right after the transfer window ended. He's expecting William Saliba to come back, and then there will be a solution or whatever it is. We'll be looking for it. We'll be looking forward to it. Ne next. Nicolas Dusmola. Now Dusmola actually has gone to Victoria Cologne on a season-long loan deal, but as of now we don't know much about him. So let's see if the new Zlatan can do something as well. Dejan Ilyev. Well, I'm, I, I, I'll tell you what. I don't think so. He has a, he has a, he has a future at Arsenal as of now. Tyrese John Jules. Now the problem is he's struggling with injuries throughout his young career. Loan move could be the making of John Jules. The forward has his supporters at Arsenal and his talent has never been in doubt. A spell at championship side Blackpool is a perfect opportunity to impress. And let's see how things will turn out. Harry Clark is another one. Tom Smith, Jordi SA 2-2. Lucas Torreira, I'm pretty much sure he's going to go into Syria. Miguel Aziz, not a very good game. <clears throat> but let's see. Hector Bellerin, not much. Jonathan Lindsay, yes. Reese Nelson, well the best Alex Sonarsson so nothing much so I think I think every Arsenal fan would only root for William Saliba out of these so apart from William Saliba let me know in the comments apart from William Saliba any loanee if you ask me uh, uh, I, I, I really love Daniel Ballard I love Tyrese John Jules uh, William Saliba of course do smaller yes but I'm pretty much sure that he needs a championship club kind of uh, yeah on his resume that needs to come up as well so if that is it then we talk about it but otherwise let's just not talk about it well moving on let's talk about the bigger bigger players that Arsenal could target in the next transfer window well <clears throat> Monica's too many so they paid 16 million to sign him from Bordeaux in June in January 2020 so of course they're gonna charge more than that but let's see if it's if Chelsea are really in the midst Arsenal could go but let's see not yet not yet as of now Let's talk about the one, the only, the ever linked with Arsenal. Oh, yes, yes, we are talking about Ishko. Well, according to Calcio Mercato, it looks like Ishko is still unhappy, even if Carlo Ancelotti is at the helm. Now, he's about to become a free agent in June 2022 when Juventus and Milan are both showing an interest in his services. Ishko to Arsenal. I've literally asked this a million times, but yeah, whatever. According to Tuto Sport, Juventus and Milan are set to do a battle for Fiorentina striker Dusan Blahovic. Laviola could be prepared to sell the 21 year old if they receive a bid in the region of 40 million euros when the transfer window reopens. That's because probably he's, yeah, he's not signing a new contract, right? Okay, that, that could be one of the reasons. Could be. 
Well, moving on, talking about another important player that is, would be available on the market is Inter Milan are considering for Donny Van de Beek's swoop. That's according to Calcio Mercato, but would you consider Donny Van de Beek an Arsenal? Weird, weird question to ask, but let's talk about the man himself, Lautaro Martinez. Well, is the problem. Lautaro Martinez is set to sign a new deal with Inter Milan that does not include a release clause, reports Mira. The news will come as a blow to Arsenal, Tottenham and Barcelona, among others, who have been pursuing the Argentinian striker. His current contract enters, uh, well, his current contract expires in 2023. But here's the bigger, bigger problem. No release clause in the new contract. It's, it's too much, I think. I think he might be stuck there. But let's see, let's see. Let, let, them, let them agree with a very good fee for now. Uh, sorry, for a good salary with uh, Lautaro. So with this, I'd like to end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you seek daily Arsenal content, best place to be. Consider subscribing. Cheers.